Hey guys! As is widely recognized, China stands as a nation that has witnessed remarkable transformations, particularly gaining acclaim for its fervor in undertaking colossal projects to cater to its ever-expanding populace. China will build another epic mega-project in the world, the world's longest undersea tunnel. In this video, we will delve deep into how Chinese engineers harness their intelligence and construct the world's longest undersea tunnel, leaving American engineers utterly amazed. But before delving into the discussion, we kindly ask for your support by liking this video and subscribing to Machine Eye. Your thoughts hold significance, and you are invited to share your opinions in the comments section below. Without further delay, let's commence this extraordinary journey. This is Qingdao. This young coastal city has now become the third largest city in northern China in terms of economic output, ranking just behind Beijing and Tianjin. It is nestled by the coast and vying for attention with an explosive twist. That's right. Beneath the waves is right at the construction site of the Jiaozhou Bay Second Undersea Tunnel, soon to be the world's lengthiest underwater highway. But Qingdao isn't new to smashing records. A dozen years back, they dropped the mic with the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel, stealing the spotlight as the planet's longest cross-sea bridge and China's reigning underwater tunnel champions. So, what's cooking with this new world record and Qingdao's sudden passion for sea-spanning structures? Well, let's rewind and appreciate Qingdao's cozy embrace of Jiaozhou Bay, which, believe it or not, was once just an ordinary basin. A mere 11,000 years ago, a bit of sea-level drama transformed it into the spectacular Jiaozhou Bay we see today. With its deep, expansive harbor and impeccable geography, Qingdao proudly houses the world's fourth-largest port, Qingdao Port. And it's not just a port, it's the heart of the city. On the bay's east side, you'll find the old city of Qingdao, while to the west, the West Coast New Area, affectionately known as Huangdao, has taken shape. Three decades ago, Crossing the bay meant leisurely ferry rides, taking a whole hour to get across, not exactly a whirlwind. Things got a bit speedier with the Coastal Bay Highway, trimming the journey to a brisk 50 minutes. But the real game-changer arrived in 2011 with the Jiaozhou Bay Bridge and Tunnel, slashing travel time to a jaw-dropping 6 minutes. Suddenly, Qingdao's Free Trade Zone, Economic Development Zone, Port Hubs, and the legendary Qingdao International Beer Festival all relocated to the West Coast New Area. Cross-bay traffic went through the roof, with nearly 200,000 vehicles making the journey daily. To earn its title as a true bay city, Qingdao needed a fresh cross-sea passage, one that doesn't tick off Poseidon, scoffs at strong winds and fog, and keeps the travel vibes alive around the clock. Enter the Jiaozhou Bay Second Undersea Tunnel now under construction, but it's not without its challenges. Stretching for a whopping 14.37 kilometers, it boasts six lanes in each direction and plummets to depths of 115 meters below sea level. Talk about tunneling into the unknown. This tunnel has to face two distinct rock formations. On the Huangdao side, it's all about rugged granite, while Qingdao's soft gray limestone and sandy layers add a twist. Plus, there are 22 faults lurking around, with the big daddy named Tsanko Fault, a behemoth spanning over 200 meters. It's like a line in the sand, separating flat plains in the west from hilly terrain ruled by Laoshan Mountain in the east. Now, how do you drill through this geological maze? 
There's the drill and blast method, great for both hard and soft rock. Then there's the shield tunnel boring machine, TBM, method and the immersed tube method. Immersed tubes are costly and messy for the environment, so they're out. Faced with a cross-sectional diameter of 15.6 meters and water depths exceeding 100 meters, the TBM construction method carries significant risks, and therefore, it is also ruled out. So, considering the distribution of rock formations, combining drilling and blasting with shield tunneling is the most reliable construction method. Start with drill and blast, a real rock and roll show, with engineers drilling 254 meter deep holes into granite faster than you can say explosives. Speaking of which, those sausage looking explosives fit snugly into the holes and, with precise placement, blast the rock into shape. There's more to do, as these blast holes need three layers of reinforcement, inner and outer concrete jackets with a waterproof layer in between. And there you have it, a tunnel in the making. Yet, the real cliffhanger isn't the rock, it's the lurking faults, waiting to crash the party. The fragile rock here demands caution, or a floodgate of groundwater or seawater could wash everything away. So, radar scouts ahead, and if conditions look dicey, holes are drilled in cement injected to fortify the fissures. This solid barrier not only blocks water but strengthens the tunnel, letting it inch forward through the colossal Tsanko Fault at a slow and steady pace of 2 to 3 meters per day. Now, for the softer limestone zones, it's time for the shield tunneling method. Behold the legendary tunnel boring machine, TBM an 8-meter-wide juggernaut with a cutter head that eats rock for breakfast. It grinds boulders into mud and pumps them out through pipes. Simultaneously, the TBM hoists up concrete segments to create a seamless tunnel lining. It's like a giant palm holding up a one-ton weight, a true showstopper. Afterward, this colossal machine gets disassembled, transported to a 30-meter-deep pit, reassembled, and heads off to conquer the seabed. But here's the kicker, finishing the main tunnel doesn't mean the end of the adventure. What about exhaust gases? What if construction drags on, or heaven forbid, accidents occur? Enter the hero of our story, the service tunnel. It's not for regular traffic, but it's the control center for tunnel wizardry, maintenance, pipelines, and emergency escapes. It's the tunnel's hidden superhero, working side by side with the main tunnels. And the big reveal? How do those eastbound and westbound tunnels meet? Imagine an epic chamber beneath the sea, a 30-story behemoth serving as the tunnel's junction and a launching pad for the TBMs. It's not just any chamber, it doubles as a ventilation hub, a feat most undersea tunnels manage with towering ventilation buildings. But not here, they're keeping things marine-friendly by placing those towers on land. The service tunnel, free of vehicles and exhaust, acts as the air channel, splitting the 10-kilometer ventilation distance into two neat segments. By the end of 2027, this colossal tunnel will be ready to steal the show. And when you walk through it, don't expect flashy lights or red carpets. It's all about subtlety, hidden beneath the seabed, letting marine life and shipping carry on undisturbed. Super projects don't need to shout, they can make a powerful statement by being remarkably unobtrusive and gentle. So, there you have it, with the might of these super tunnels, Qingdao is set to become a bona fide bay city. Who knows, along China's extensive coastline, from the 20-kilometer Qiongzhou Strait to the 100-kilometer Bohai Strait and the 130-kilometer Taiwan Strait, more natural barriers may soon yield to Chinese engineering genius one by one. Cue the epic tunnel music. The Jiaozhou Bay Second Undersea Tunnel China's mega projects are one of awe and inspiration, a testament to Chinese engineers' ingenuity, innovation, and relentless pursuit of progress. Each of China's major projects showcases the remarkable feats that can be achieved when vision, technology, 
and sheer determination come together. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up and share it with others. We would love to hear your thoughts and insights in the comment section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay updated with more fascinating content. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Let's continue to explore, learn, and inspire together. Take care and goodbye.